Hey everyone, it's Andrew Escobar here, and today I'm going to show you my LAN party setup. Now, for those of you who don't know what a LAN party is, it's basically a party where everyone brings their computer, and we hook it up to a local area network, and we play video games. I've been doing this for a number of years, and I recently came into some new hardware for my LAN party. What I got here is a gigabit switch that does full duplex with fabric speeds so it's able to do one gigabit per second eat in any direction on every single port and running at full duplex means that it can do one gigabit per second up and down on the same port meaning that each port technically does two gigabits per second equaling a total of a 16 gigabit per second bandwidth you know overall now in a company with the switch, each one of these cables that you see is a Category 7 RJ45 cable. Category 7 cables, if you don't know what they are, I have a video of it on my YouTube channel that you should probably check out if you're interested in. But let's just say Category 7 is probably the best RJ45 cables you can get. So, with all that in mind, this is, you know, just my basic setup, and it's not very basic considering the fact that it's what you see here is relatively advanced. So, some people may ask, you know, why are you using a switch instead of a router? Well, it's a LAN party. Switches are designed for LAN networks. Routers are more so for connecting LANs to WANs. But, as you may notice, there's an open port here on port 8, over here, and that is for internet. So basically, um, the switch itself doesn't have any internet, right? It's not hooked to the internet. But if I want to add internet to it, all I gotta do is plug an RJ45 cable from this into a router that does have internet, and huzzah, now everyone on the switch has internet. It's pretty simple. Um, it's an unmanaged switch, which means that you don't actually need to do anything to it to make it work auto configs itself. I have tested it. It is a very, very nice switch. It's from TrendNet. And the wires themselves are actually from Rosewell. Now, I, I don't really, really like Rosewell. I think most of their stuff is low quality, but their cables, I've noticed, are really, really good quality. I used to have little to no respect for Rosewell. Now I'm starting to prefer them for many things. So, um, anyway, uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about this particular setup. Um, it is possibly one of my favorite setups thus far for my LAN parties. And to anyone who's coming to the LAN party, you don't have to bring a wire because I already got one. Anyway, uh, that's basically just my LAN network setup. Thanks for watching.